I'm the Brigade Electronic Warfare Officer. So primarily what I do is um, myself and my NCOs, we look at the electromagnetic spectrum, uh, which consists of a variety of different um, signals, if you will, frequencies, and we make an evaluation on what is what can be vulnerable, what can be exploited, and how how the electromagnetic spectrum is affecting us and how we can use this spectrum to affect our, uh, our adversaries. The purpose of the Army Basic Space Cadre course was to give us, the students, a concept and understanding of how space enables uh, everyday life from not only civilian life but uh, primarily military life and how our, our satellites in space enable commanders to make decisions and how we are so dependent on these capabilities that rely on, um, on space. So what this capability does is it allows myself and the, uh, the other two candidates that attended the course with me to be able to advise the commander of certain capabilities that we have in space, certain things like GPS, which is heavily dependent on uh, space flight due to the satellites. GPS is a very important feature that the military and civilian uh, infrastructure heavily reply, uh, relies upon. It's not just for navigation, but also for timing, um, for different web apps and different computer programs, um, and also just the scope of how consistent we use it and how easy it is to um, take that technology and turn it into something for civilian use, and that comes back on us as, as a military where we try and uh, use this technology to our best advantage, but there there's different vulnerabilities that are associated with that and we as an army need to be cognizant of that so we can try and mitigate those vulnerabilities. At first it was a little bit overwhelming because I don't really have much of a background, a uh, formal education in space, so I really had to go home every night and study uh, the material that was being taught in class every day and learn about different orbital patterns and the reasons why we have a lot of satellites here and why we have a lot of satellites in space. Um, and a lot of their different capabilities, most of which are at the secret level. So uh, studying that stuff uh, became pretty difficult because I can't take that home. Um, so it was very, it was a very challenging course, uh, but I'm really glad I took it because it gave me a whole new point of view of how our capabilities in space are both enabling us to make decisions on the ground here and also how vulnerable they are as well. It's unclear whether or not uh, just because of how the Space Force, uh, there's not a lot of information about it, but uh, one thing that is very interesting is we are, as a military, as a country, moving towards recognizing that space is a very critical frontier of our warfighting capabilities. And so I think uh, in the long run, it'll just add to the awareness that uh, space is a critical, uh, a critical zone of influence that we need to be able to have dominance over. And it's something that going forward is becoming more and more important to us as an army.